Hello, John Britt here. Today I am alone videoing, and so it might be a kind of weird, uh, I'll be, I have to turn the camera away a bunch, but I wanted to show you my new book. It's the Complete Guide to Mid-Range Glazes. So here's the book, and it's available on my website at johnbrittpottery.com. I'm selling them for uh, $29.95 and free shipping. Um, so this book is a cone six mainly. It covers a range from four to seven, but uh, mainly mid-range. Uh, I fired to cone six. And I tried to do it the same way as my other book, where I segregated the colors by clear and iron, uh, red, green, blue, like that. And let's see. Like I put a section in here on why fire to cone six, so I try to explain reasoning behind firing lower and environmental effects and uh, speed. And then I talked about also moving glazes down and you know how to do that or why I usually don't do that. And uh, that's because there's so many recipes already in use. Um, let's see. Like I have a section in here, like in my other book on firing cycles. So these are a bunch of electric firing cycles and um, grids on and, and uh, ramp cycles, how to do them. And then I have another group um, for reduction and, and with various holds and different times of reduction. And then like for instance here's a chapter on clear and white. And I know it's hard to see this with this video camera, but uh, like for instance this one I, sh I show uh, the coefficient of expansion for these clears if you were trying to find something with, um, with no, no crazing for your body you could start there. These are the exact opposite of that snowflake crackle so this is like extreme crazing. And then let's see so maybe I'll take a chapter this is a red uh, chapter. So I have chrome tin reds. That's one type. This would be copper reds. So these are for reduction. And then these would be uh, copper reds in electric. So they're artificial reds with silicon carbide. So for instance, and then see I have these tiles here, but these tiles come from these boxes of tiles that I have spent you know a lot of time figuring out and so I maybe take 30 or more recipes of these um, uh, these were clear glazes that I added silicon carbide tin and copper to to get copper reds and I found ones that look pretty good and there's a variety of other ones here that are not bad but they're just not exactly red like this one may have been a little it would burn out too much and ran a lot or this one was had a bunch of tin in it and so it was a little more milky but still a nice color and so you know those would all be listed here then in the recipes and it'll show you what people do how they make them opaque or uh, milkier and then uh, like so these I had added like these may have had too much silicon carbide in them. So then they turn into like a crater glaze essentially. And I have a whole section in the back here uh, on crater glazes. Let me see if I can find that without taking too long. Yeah, so here's a whole section on crater glazes. And I have a variety of pieces that show them. And then, uh, so, so for instance, here's the, the one glaze that I made. It's got uh, about two and a half percent silicon carbide, you can go up to five. And, uh, and so it's very foamy and very sharp, but it's a classic crater. And so then what I decided, so what I was trying to do in the book is show you things, um, principles of how glazes work so you can adapt them. So for instance, in this case, you may say, I don't like this. It's too, too sharp. So I put a black glaze in there and then refired it. And then I got this piece. So you could put a green in there or blue or yellow, anything you want. But then, so that lets you know that refiring is possible and get, gives you some idea of how that can happen. Okay. So then I took the, I, I thought about the concept of um, crater glazes and I thought, well, what if I leave out the colorant in the glaze and then, um, 
paint on washes. So I would, so what I did that, like with this little chair, I painted copper on this. And so it's not as foamy as the uh, main crater, but because what happens is the copper on the surface helps uh, melt, uh, helps flux out the uh, cratering. And so I did the same thing here. I just painted a, a white crater glaze with no colorants, and then I painted cobalt on here. And it's kind of interesting because the cratering happens, and it, so it disrupts the smoothness of the um, cobalt application, cobalt carb, and it gives it a really interesting effect, and it's much more smooth. So I did the same thing with these. Like I, on this one, I uh, just painted copper and cobalt on there and the as it foams up it, it you know modulates the surface and uh, makes it very interesting so that's basically the book and I um, have some stuff on kiln washes there and then I have a list of all the artists that are in the book had a lot of great artists put their pieces in here and they shared their recipes which was very nice of them I've even got chinos in there at cone six, oil spots, a bunch of celadons. Okay, so that's all I got for you. Um, like I said, the book's available on my website for $29.95. I'll sign it, and it's free shipping. All right, thanks very much.